I know I'm going to fit in here because this place is named after the Greek goddess of mischief and chaos. Elizabeth and Nettie said we had to check out Eris and Old Irving Park for their ciders. Two women recommending a brew pub that specializes in cider with a side of trouble? You can count me in. So Eris, who was paying attention in middle school Greek mythology? Uh, I think it was both Katie and I, my business partner. Mm -hmm. Eris created a golden apple that was thrown into a party that she wasn't invited to. And we really enjoyed the idea of throwing our golden apple into the brewery industry and said, we create cider too. You were the first female founded brewery in Illinois. Yes, we hope that we really are an inspiration to other women and to other minorities. When people walk in the door, they look at this Masonic temple that we converted. It's all dropping because there are two women that run the place. It is all dropping because we make cider and beer in the same location and our food is quality food. What are we going to make? Today we're going to be working with our burger. I know they use like three different meats, so it's actually kind of good. It's a little bit of a blend. Delicious. It has the right consistency. Our burger is made out of three different types of meat. It's got a beautiful bacon jam that goes in the middle of it. We use some cheese from Car Valley, all on this brioche bun. And do you like to pair that with a cider or with a beer or with both? Oh man, you can do both. This is the first shoot that I've had gloves that actually fit my hands. <laughs> You're my new favorite chef. Tell me what to do. Fantastic, so we've got our patty right here. All right. We've got a little bit of salt and pepper down below you. All right. So you're just gonna take that and liberally sprinkle. In our burger itself, you've got three kinds of meat. I got chuck, Angus, and short rib. Short rib included in any burger. Salt makes it my favorite. And we wait. And now we wait while my gloves fit. <laughs> if anyone missed my jazz hands, they'll be back. I will attempt to transform your robotic routines into poetry. In this well over here, I've got some of that bacon jam and give it a good skosh of that. Maybe two skoshes. Okay, that. two skoshes. Two slices of Carvalho on. You know, Claire, I knew I liked you when you said bacon and then you gave me some size small gloves. But to know that you put extra cheese on a burger, Always. I like you so much more now. I know you guys like to see this part, but it's gonna have to just be a surprise. You're a butter expert. I love butter. <laughs> that looking up to snuff? It's pretty melty. Pop that guy right on there, just so the fat drips off a little bit so we're not destroying Check our bottom bun. All right, so we're gonna serve it with our house cut fries. And it gets tossed in a little bit of herb mix. So we use rosemary, oregano, parsley, and thyme. I get a cider. You're quickly becoming my favorite place I've been to. Perfect. I can smell the seasoning on the fries. It's been a classic of ours. It's really like a calming smell, but I'm just dying to dig into this burger. Nice and juicy. Because we steam melted that cheese, it's all down the side, so every bite is that perfect. But that bacon jam, mm -hmm. yeah. what a nice, sweet, Kick to put on top of that burger. The cheese is awesome too. You get the sharpness from the cheese. It sort of has every flavor as you take the bite. I have to try the fries because I just keep smelling this beautiful aroma. They taste as good as they smell. The best fries ever. You could take these home and put them in the oven and they reheat perfectly also. Awesome. Cheers, Cheers to that. Again. Cheers to founding the first female founded Thank brewery so in Illinois. And I'll Thank be you. bringing some females your way. I'm so excited. I hope you're ready. Cheers. Cheers. Now I'm gonna eat the rest of the No, burger. go for it.